Holy shit, been recording for three minutes already. Okay, um... Let's go, people. Um, so now we're gonna do a picture for Dueling Peak Stable. Ah. Alright, what do you need, bro? Hey, look at this guy. Oh. Do you think you know where to find Hyrule's most beautiful sunrise? At the edge of the sea, southwest of here, is a small fishing village called Luralin. It has a reputation as a resort town. Oh. But its real claim to fame is the beautiful moment where the sun rises over the horizon and lights up the whole village. And they say the most breathtaking view of this sunrise is from the summit of the of Tuft Mountain. Hmm. I'd love to see that view myself, but it's so far away. And, okay. Where is Tuft Mountain? Aw, oh, dude, but how the fuck are we gonna... How are we gonna set a fire? Ooh, Korok. Why not? timing. Such a beautiful shot. Alright, time to turn this shit in. How many arrows do we have? Oop. My bad, Beetle. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh. Recipe. Nice. Alright, looking up the next one now. Whoever finds this letter, you gotta help me out. I was out fishing when I got caught in a storm and had to run into a nearby cave to take shelter. Just when I was starting to dry off, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. I managed to get some bright bloom seeds through a gap in, into the water as a sort of marker. If I'm lucky, the seeds will blossom and the tide will take this letter and the flowers to shore. If you're reading this, 
It must have worked. So whoever whoever you are, I got a favor to ask. Could you follow the trail of Bright Bloom Bright Blooms back to this this cave and get me out of here? It'd be a real help. Alright. So we're gonna go to this cave right here. So let's do it. Hell? Is that bird carrying around a Lizalfos? Whoops. I totally missed. Korok! <laughs> Oh no, we're going against the current here. Fuck. This is where this guy is. I'm just like, can you give me some diamonds or something, please? Oh, topaz, not bad. Ooh, maybe there's a diamond right here. Nope. Whoa! Whoa. Who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're here, then I'm saved. Ugh, I've been stuck in here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? <sighs> it really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Luralin Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to uh, shelter in this cave, but got shut in. Uh -huh. Yeah, things were pretty bad for a while. But look at me now. That bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, it's got to bode well for business. Oh. Here, this is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in this cave. That sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward. Honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I, I got out. Cool. Ah. I really owe you. A little reward's the least I can do. Well, you're welcome, man. Okay? Mm. Just doing my job. Alright, I'm out of here. If our paths ever do cross again, you should buy some fish off of me. <laughs> oh, this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Anyway, thanks again, and so long. Later, man. Cool. Alright, and cross that one off the list. Crying out loud. Of all the places those monsters could go, they decided to settle down in those caves. Our caves! I wonder if there's some way to chase them out for the stable's sake. Hmm? Huh? Oh, hello, hello! I was so deep in thought, I didn't notice you there. You didn't happen to, uh, hear what I was saying, did you? Hmm. I guess you did hear. There are three caves that appeared around here after the upheaval. They're all up there. One is near Corda Lake. Another next to Rodea Lake. And the last over by Kalara Lake. Hmm. Huge deposits of luminous stone can be mined in those caves, so they're popular spots for travelers, or they were. Then the three giant monsters bro brothers show up. Three giant monster brothers showed up. 
Those three used to be over in Terran Pass to the northeast, but now they're in our region, hogging the caves for themselves. Mm. If we don't do something, travelers will stop coming here, and business at this stable will dry up. Mm. <sighs> I can't win. It's not as though they're, they'll up and leave. I took care of it. Mm? What? What did you just say? You drove away the monsters, buddy. But the monsters aren't all gone yet. I'm glad the caves are a little safer. Really, I am, but... Um, if even one of those things is still around, we have no way of knowing which cave it might sleep in. Travelers won't be safe in any of them. You have to drive all the monsters off, or the stable will keep losing, losing customers. Okay. Well, I think we've already unlocked all three of these caves, so... Let's go see if we can, uh... Get their asses. I'm gonna mark all three of these on the map. And, uh, we're gonna get going. Kind of doing this one blind, to be honest. More fast traveling! Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's go, baby! We're going on another adventure, y'all! I'm going on another adventure! That was like my best British impression, uh, impression, impression that I've ever done. Just because I know the source material, I guess. Because we live in a material world! Okay, no, I'm... God fucking damn it, dude. Can you go one second without being cringe? Jeez, fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, that was cringe! God damn it. I should just retire right now. Alright, so we're looking for Hinoxes. Surprise, little fucker! <laughs> some infusions. Defeat the other one, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, Campo at the lakeside stable will breathe a little easier. Oh, it literally tells us where it is. Good. I was worried about that. It's at this one right here. Alright, can we use a send? here for treasures or antiquities. We're here to fuck up Hinoxes. The thing is, I don't know where this guy is. I have a feeling like he might be over here. Let's see. 
Here it is. We found him. What the fuck? Hiya! Oh shit! That's gotta suck. Oh no. Roasted trout. Dude, don't do that. Oh. Listen up, I've got some great news. Word has it that those three giant monsters, monster brothers, finally le left their caves. Hmm? Huh, what's that now? <laughs> you did it! You mean, you defeated all three of the monsters by yourself? I've seen enough faces in this job that I can tell from looking at one if someone's lying to me. Oh. And you aren't. Oh. I don't even have to go check. You really did do it. You defeated the monsters. On behalf of all of us at the stable, thank you. Please, take the small symbol of our appreciation. Nice! Oh. With those pesky brothers gone at last. The guests will start pouring back in. I guess I better get back to work, huh? And listen, you've got your reward, but if you ever need luminous stones, feel free to take all you need from the, the caves. <laughs> and there are plenty of areas of interest beside those caves for you to see around here. Not to mention rare animals that can take only um, that you can only find around the stable. Take it easy. Cool. go another picture we're about to do two picture quests oh oh of the Floria Falls see his Floria bridge outside the stable when the view okay oh Floria Falls let's see Clear day right now, so please don't start raining. Oh, are you kidding me? Awesome. Job done. Oh. 
to uh, um, Highland Stable. So let's go. They said, a picture, okay? A creature like a giant white stallion would suit that frame perfectly, I'm sure of it. <sighs> Who told me this horse hadn't actually seen it with their own eyes yet? They were planning to take the road to the lake of the horse god southeast of here and search for it there. Aww. It's just gonna be over here. Is there anywhere we could... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, is there anywhere we could fast travel that'd be close, but I guess not. Let's get our horse. <laughs> that jump is hilarious. Korok! Here. Paraglider fabric, what? Found it. All right, nice and easy. Got him! Do your thing, man. one now. Volta. Volta. I mean, so Volta. That was close. If the others heard me, they definitely ch uh, chew me out for using slang on duty. Huh. Sark for fighting alongside us. Oh, I mean Sarkso. With the sand shroud cleared away, supplies can reach the town again. Help yourself to a bow and arrows. Mm. My mentor has entrusted me with what feels like an impossible task. She said, 
to stylishly decorate a weapon, but I just don't know how to approach this request. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. And to top it all off, she's got an allergy to monsters, so that means monster parts won't do. Oh. If I just had a weapon I can use as a reference for where to start, that would be help a lot. Okay, I literally... Okay, we don't need a tree branch, which is good. We just need a weapon. Man. Where am I gonna go to get a weapon? If I go down the well. <gasps> Perfect. out. Moment to study this weapon. Ooh. Ah, oh, so if you attach a ruby like this, huh? That sparkle and the weapon positively radiates with burning passion. Even I can make something like this, and it will certainly please my mentor, Sark, for showing me such an inspiring decoration. Please take this. Really? Oh. It's the material I would recommend for decorating weapons. A lot of monsters call the desert home, so normally I wouldn't recommend going out there. However, if you want to test the strength of a weapon you've added something to, now is a perfect time. I don't want that anymore, so you can have it. Um... local attraction nearby is Spectacle Rock. Just check your map. The place is famous. And this traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. <laughs> That's what I want to, to frame. What could be better than sending the stable off with a smile? It's just a shame that I can't fly to capture that view for myself. Uh... But if I had even a picture of the smiling Spectacle Rock, I could copy it for the frame and, and cheer things up in here. Alright, let's do this one too. Because there's two of them here. Huh? Hmm. 
Kim, we're about to close. Okay. Um, giant sword stuck into a peak in the Gerudo Highlands is n the neat goodbye for the stable deserves. Oh. It's just northwest of here, but I won't be able to see it. I have cleaning to do. Besides, it's cold in the Gerudo Highlands. Even a copy picture of the giant sword would liven up this old place. How did those fucking passerbys even see that? This looked like a fucking smiley face. Dude, that is so fucking crazy. Alright. Alright, giant sword. Stuck in Gerudo Highlands. Let's see if we can get this one too. Leoc there and everything too. Perfect picture. I believe that's that's gonna be the last the last of the uh, the the pictures for the stables. Huh? Holy shit, enduring huh. carrot cake. Oh, we can't even claim our reward. Damn. All right, let's see. So I guess there's a guy over here somewhere that we can talk to.
or this chick. As you can see, my husband is too sick to move. I am caring for him here. This is my fault. I wanted the two of us to have a wedding adventure that has now proved to be unwise. <sighs> he has a weak constitution by nature. Once before, he collapsed from illness. A kind traveler helped me treat him then. I have since pushed myself to know the ways of medicine. It was only a matter of time before he would need more help. The return of my husband's illness is my fault, but I know what it will take to heal him this time. A medicine made from gliok guts. Hmm. A gliok is a horrible creature that flaps across the sky using huge wings. I know there's one that flies over Gerudo Canyon, but attacking it would be difficult. I will need to prepare somehow. Here, have this! <laughs> could this be? Gliok guts? How did you... No, there is no time for that. Forgive me if I go right to making my medicine. I know I, I can save him with it. <laughs> Sarkso! Wow, we knocked that one out really quick. <laughs> he has... Okay, he's fully recovered. He's recovered fully, all because of you. <laughs> Unbelievable. All of my agony, just gone. I've been saved thanks to the medicine my wife made out of Gliok guts. And, of course, to you. <laughs> I'm grateful to you for saving my true love from the bottom of my heart. Please, I want you to take this. Holy shit! We have decided to continue our wedding adventure. I have promised not to push him harder than I should this time. Well then, Savork! Sorry if I seem disappointed, I just thought our friends might have returned. Ooh. Ninia and I lost sight of three of our friends on the road in Gerudo Canyon. We had agreed to meet here if we got separated, but there's still no sign of them. The longer they're gone, the more worried I get. What if they're lost or hurt? Ah? They're experienced travelers. I'm sure they'll be fine. They're pr they probably stepped to rest in a cave or under some shade along the road, since the canyon gets so hot during the day. Not to say they'll travel faster at night, it gets so cold, they might have to start a fire to keep from freezing. But they'll be okay, oh, okay. they'll be back in due time, we just have to be patient. Mm. I hope you're right. Awesome. Mm. Alright, let's do this. I know exactly where they are. What the huh? fuck? Why are you... Oh. Hmm? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh. That was so random.
You're strong. Phew. You might think I'm a hopeless coward and you wouldn't be entirely wrong, but I'm also a bodyguard. I was traveling with my friends, but we got separated. Then I saw those monsters and I completely froze up. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh. I better get going. My friends will surely feel safer with a fearless bodyguard by their side. Heh. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Alright, now we're going... Where are we going? Let's see. Around here somewhere. Ah, eh, no, fuck that. This fucking guy! I'm so over him! Later, dude. I think I'm gonna stop after this qu this quest. We're, we're literally almost done with the side quest. We've got like a couple left. The longest one that we have to do right now is the Where are the Wells quest. Uh... You found me. I was sure nobody would come looking for me all the way out here. Got split up from my friends, tried looking for him, but then the dehydration set in and I couldn't move. Ugh. I sure could go for a squash of splash fruit. Here you go. Ah. Oh, I could kiss you right now. Please don't. Thanks. <laughs> no. Ah. Now that's refreshing. Never in my life have I been so grateful for splash fruit. I think that now. Yep, yep. My limbs work again. I'd better go and meet up with my friends, eh? Thanks for the safe, pal. All right, we got one more guy to look for. Okay. Yes. Perfect.
where is this guy? He's up here somewhere. Hey, yeah, he's over here. Aww. Ugh, can you help me? I was traveling through here with my friends, but I got too excited and split off from the group. Before I could find them, night fell and the chill set in. I got so cold my joints froze up. I can hardly move, let alone walk all the way to where my friends are. Mm. I think a spicy pepper is just about the only thing that'll warm me up. Here you go. Ah, eh? oh, how kind of you. You're warming my heart. Now to warm the rest of me, let's cook. Ah. Mm-hmm. Loose and limber. You really saved me there. A seasoned traveler I may be, but I guess even pros make mistakes sometimes. Ah. My friends must be worried sick. I'll have to head out soon. Thanks for your help. I owe you one. Alright, now I gotta get back there. I knew this guy was over here. gather around. Ooh. All three of our friends came back. That was your doing, wasn't it? Thank you very, very, very much. Here's a little something for you. Don't be modest. You deserve it. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> now it's high time for us to get back on the road. Stay safe out there. Yay. Well, that's done. Um, alright. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna take a break now, and when I come back, hopefully I, we can... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Hold on a second. Let's go to Hatino Village and see if this is done yet. I don't know if it is, but I just want to check anyway. Oh, it looks like it's done! And we got a star fragment, too. And, oh, too fucking far away, though. I'm not going all the way over there. Screw that. Ah. Well, if it ain't Professor Link. <laughs> Is that a jab? <laughs> Thanks for being so patient. What do you think? They're tasty looking, aren't they? I was happy to tend them for you, Professor Link. It's all the same for me to, uh, it's all the same to me what you do with the produce we grow here, and if you want to grow something else, let me know. Nice. I'm glad that's finally fucking done. Mine! Okay, um, let me just double check right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six side quests remaining. So when I return, we will um, 
finish up the side quest. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.